All right, y'all, it's time for another product review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing, dun, 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 the main choice, Ancient Egyptian product line. So I'm going to be using the shampoo, conditioner, the deep conditioner, and their split end serum. I picked these up at Ulta.com. I was so excited to see that Ulta carries the main choice now. Um, I ordered these online and you know, I haven't reviewed a lot of their products. So I'm excited to, I know I've talked about their Heavenly Halo leave-in milk or lotion. I forget what it is, but that's one of my favorites. Um, I've done a video on that maybe last year. Um, that that particular product was amazing. I'll link it down below. Right now I can't think of the name. It's Heavenly Halo cream, lotion, <laughs> leave-in. I don't remember, but I do remember loving it. Um, so it's exciting to try some new products from them. Um, this is supposed to help with natural growth and retention. It's infused with biotin, vitamins A, B, C, and D, and it's made with their signature comb oil infusion. The comb is spelled K-O-M-B, and that stands for Kalahari oil, oleaster oil, mongongo oil, and bal... This is one I can't pronounce. You know I'm gonna go on my phone right now and figure this out. Baobab. Baobab. Baobab oil. <laughs> So let's go over their shampoo and conditioner. So it's going to thoroughly cleanse without stripping, penetrates well into the layers of the hair shaft, prevents and repairs cuticle damage, restores hair condition and delivers shine. It makes your hair feel soft and reduce frizz. Loaded with fatty acids, omega-3, 6, and 9. Helps to replenish hair and fight against split ends. Improves hair appearance and texture, strengthens and moisturizes each strand. I feel like I should have been using this for like six months plus because I'm experiencing breakage up here. I kind of have been, I have frizz. You can't tell right now because this is filmed in the future. You're already seeing the final result right now. I don't think my split ends are terrible because I have been taking care of my hair and doing like a lot of different treatments, but my hair does need a solid trim. It also says it's gentle enough to use daily and on all hair types. My hair does feel like it's getting a little bit more matted when I'm in the shower detangling. Um, so I am washing a little bit more often, sometimes two to three days per week. Also, there's no mineral oil, no petroleum, parabens, sulfates, formaldehydes, um, and it also says that it's safe for color-treated hair. Then we have the hair mask, and this is said to intensely rejuvenate, condition, and hydrate, deeply penetrates well into all hair layers of the hair shaft, prevents and repairs cuticle damage, restores hair condition and delivers shine, makes the hair feel soft and reduce frizz, loaded with fatty acids, omegas 3, 6, and 9 and it helps replenish hair and fight against split ends. So, you know what, this is just what I need right now. The last product from them that I'm going to review is the Split End Treatment Serum. I've been using this for about a month. I started using this first because I just felt like the need to get something for my ends in between my haircuts. With everything that's been going on in the world, I just don't know when I'm gonna get in to see my hairdresser. Um, I had an appointment in April, didn't happen obviously, and now, you know, I have to do what I can to prolong <laughs> the health of my hair. What I love about this is that it contains so many oils that I love, but without the way down. My hair is light. It doesn't feel like super heavy or stringy or oily or greasy feeling. Um, I actually feel like I can still get some volume with the benefits of some of these nourishing oils. So it looks like it has sweet almond oil, vitamin E, it also has honey, uh, vitamin C, Kalahari watermelon seed oil, oleaster oil, Mongongo oil, has aloe vera leaf juice, baobab seed oil, vitamin A, vitamin D, evening primrose oil, silk amino acids, nettle leaf extract. I'm not gonna list all of them, but you get the point here. We can also talk about the texture. It's like a yellowish color. It's a creamy texture. I do smell the watermelon but it's very lightweight. I don't feel like it's greasy on my hands. And when I do my demo, I'll show you the textures of the shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner. Ulta was having a buy one, get one 50% off sale, so I went ahead and loaded up on this collection. I really wanted to try it, but they are a little bit on the pricey side. Plus, you know, Ulta, they give you coupons, you can collect your points, and you know, trade those in. 
to lower your amount due. So yeah, I'm a big Ulta fan. I don't know about anybody else, but let me know down below if you shop online or in the Ulta stores. So now I'm gonna show you a quick demo on how I got these results using the shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, split end treatment, and a couple of my own stylers because I didn't have the styler from this line. Okay, so we're gonna start in the shower here. I'm gonna start with the shampoo and conditioner from them, and I'm gonna get my hair soaking wet so that I can apply my shampoo first. The texture of the shampoo is really slippery. You can see it kind of glistens on my hands. And I'm gonna take some time to just massage this into my scalp and then move down to my ends. I'm actually very impressed with the amount of slip that this shampoo has. It's not really common to find shampoos that are really slippery like this. Now I'm gonna rinse this out and move on to the conditioner. This is a much thicker consistency. I think it's a little hard to squeeze out of the bottle, um, but I find these types of conditioners to be very repairing when they're not as slippery. Um, and that's the feeling I'm getting from this. I don't feel like there's as much slip as I was getting with the shampoo for some reason, which feels like the opposite, but I know this is gonna help repair the hair. So I'm gonna start by detangling my hair with my fingers, taking it section by section, and then once I'm done, I'm gonna rinse this out. Now I'm gonna move on to the deep conditioner. This entire line smells like sweet watermelon. It's so delicious. The deep conditioner is super slippery. Oh my goodness. I am just gliding through my hair right now with my fingers. I'm super impressed and I do feel like this is gonna be one of my new favorites. While this deep conditioner is in my hair, I'm going to do a few two strand twists to help train the curls, but also soften my hair to make the last of the detangling really easy. Now I'm going to clip my twists back and put on my shower cap and I'm also going to add my thermal heat cap. You put this in the microwave for about two minutes and then place this on top of your head. It's gonna really help penetrate your deep conditioners. Great for low porosity hair. So I'm gonna keep this on for 20 minutes and now that those 20 minutes are up, I'm gonna take off the thermal heat cap, take off the shower cap and take down these twists. My hair is feeling really slippery and I don't feel the need to even bust out a comb to get the rest of these tangles out. Lastly, I'm gonna rinse all of this conditioner out. Now it's time to move on to the styling portion. I'm going to start by applying my leave-in conditioner. This is by Kinky Curly. It's the Not Today Leave-In Detangler. I think this is a really good leave-in if you are experiencing a lot of tangles, like I am, and need some extra help. Next, I'm gonna move on to the split end treatment. I'm going to apply a couple pumps, smooth it into my hands, and then work it into my hair from the mid lengths down. You can see I'm just using the praying hands method and just smoothing it down my hair. Next, I'm gonna move on to the Love Yourself Lust curly styler. It's an all-in-one, but I like to apply this before a gel just to give my hair a little bit more moisture. And I'm going to take a comb just to help distribute all of the product I've applied so far before I move on to the gel. I've been really loving the We Dot Advanced Climate Control Stronghold Gel for my curls. So the way I've been applying it is just flipping my head over and then just kind of working it on the outside of my hair i even put it up in a ponytail, making sure that all the areas get covered and then do some major scrunching to help bring the curls back. Lastly, I'm just going to part my hair where I like to wear it and I'm gonna take a soft microfiber towel and just absorb some of the excess moisture from the water and any products I applied today. And I plan to let this air dry and you'll see me after it's dry. So I'm out of the shower and my hair is 100% dry now. I'm gonna shake it out in a minute here just to give you a final look, but there's not much I can show you if you're watching this on a video. It's really hard to get a really good look at my hair unless we're face to face. But what I can just tell you is how my hair feels at this point. When I took 
my shower and washed and conditioned it my hair just felt nurtured the shampoo was very slippery and felt very moisturizing as well the conditioner surprisingly didn't feel as slippery but very thick um, the consistency of it the deep conditioner had amazing slip i'm gonna rank that up there with some of these other deep conditioners i talk about as one of my new favorites i feel like i'm gonna have to do some sort of deep conditioner battle because i was really really impressed with this um, I think this might be my favorite product out of the collection. So what I think I'm going to do is update you all in another month when I do my healthy hair update video. I like to do those quarterly now. So um, I'm going to update you with this, let you know um, if it's helping with some of the breakage with my split ends, just overall repairing of my hair. And that way you can get a better idea of my final thoughts on this line. So now let's go ahead and shake this out, give you an idea how my hair is going to look for the day. And some scrunching. My hair does feel really, really light. I know this isn't a full on wash and styling routine with this entire line. I was only able to use the shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, and the split end treatment. So I did have to follow up with my own stylers. Um, they do carry a gel. Um, I didn't see a lot of reviews on it. I wanted to try it, but I decided to hold off for some reason. So I ended up just using my own stylers for this video, but I might go ahead and purchase that at some point. Maybe I'll update you with that video. Even though there are a lot of oils in this product line, I don't feel like my hair looks really weighed down or limp or anything. It feels really weightless actually, but I think um, of course that has to do with the way I applied my stylers and the fact that I use different stylers. If I end up getting that gel, I will post a photo in the community tab on my YouTube channel so you can get a good look at those results. But for now, this is what you're getting. And that's about it for this video. I'd love to hear from you all now. Let me know if you've tried the Main Choices Ancient Egyptian line, any of their products, let me know down below in the comments. If you're new to my fine curly crew, I'd love to have you subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you're properly notified of when I post new content. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.